Hopefully we can actually rest now. You studied writing for such a long time, put so much effort into your art, and they threw you out of the academy. Yet in spite of all this, you didn't give up. Why? Maybe because if I did give up, it would mean that they got what they wanted. Or no, maybe because life without writing would be so boring. Hmm. To be honest, I never really thought about it. Okay, so we got one ration from that. What? Well, yeah. Not a huge amount, but we only rested for a short period. Which I think meant we must have used like four of our rations. Yeah. So our, our weight is, is dropping, which is good. Still, they didn't really have anything I wanted. Right, let's go and visit Tusk Gutter. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Tusk Gutter um, for Amory. Yes, we want to enter Tusk Gutter's Lair. Um, and then we can head up to the um, Technic League, maybe. And I can worry about that. Alright, uh, save. I know it's probably just auto-saved, but still, I'm terrified. So here we are. The monster is here, and now I'll tear him apart. Yeah, just watch me. Uh, there's a custom where I am. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. In our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all. So I arranged my trial myself. Like in the song about Cargill the Orphan. I downed a cave line in single combat. Here, see the scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the line skill at their feet? They invoked some formality and declared your initiation invalid. I wish. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade it. Ugh. Later they agreed my initiation, of course. They had no choice, but... Must you really slay him in single combat? It'll take a whole party to bring this tusk cutter down. From a distance, Amory examines tusk cutter's muscular body and sharp tusks. Bah! You think I can't butcher a pig by myself? Though, if the elders saw the beast was about to kill a boy, they would help him. There's no shame in that. But it doesn't matter, I'm just saying. Now you stand and watch me gutting the beast. I see. I see. Come on. To battle. Goram, watch me! I'm going alone. Got it? This is a terrible plan, love. Better ones. Right, we'll move up. But you know what? I'm going to... Uh, plus two damage... Charge. Ooh, do I want to take minus two to armor class? I mean, never mind. I don't think we're charging then. Yeah, we're not charging. And you know what? Stuff it. I know you said you wanted to do it alone, but I don't think you're going to make it. Oh, we're, we're already fighting. Never mind. Hey, what are you doing? Think I can't do it alone? You already have something in your belt. Have it take a potion. Yeah, that's why I came in, because... Yeah, she might be upset. Good grief, that did nothing. What did that do? Oh, that, oh, that did three hit points. That only did three hit points. Okay. Maybe... Any last wishes? Yeah. We're better as a team, anyway. I was originally just moving them up, because I knew that she would need it. What'd you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off! Uh, yes, a real epic battle, just like the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. Yes, you will. Good job, Lindsay. That's it. Trial done. Now no one dares say Amory is weak. She grins and thrusts her chest out. You're a valiant warrior. Were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one will dare bark at me now. Uh, ooh. 
Are you hurt? Still, yeah. Are you hurt? Amory snorts and examines herself closely after a few moments. She goes, scratches. Good grief, you went down to one hit point. That's not scratches. Why do you want to kill this monster? You passed this test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Amory's face reddens. Well, not just pups must pass this test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide to prove he's not weak. Her voice trails off. I'm honoured you consider me a part of your new tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't start this... That... Amory stops trying to choose the right word. Stops trying to choose... Don't talk... Don't talk to me about honour and valour. I know already. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? For me, another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not for a test, just... Just that nobody would ever say Amory isn't a warrior. Wait, what? No... So... Right, clearly, you think... Yeah, you see this as a new tribe. A new tribe. And so you're doing this to earn initiation into it. Which is... Okay. I mean, I can see that. Uh, skin as well. Okay, never mind. Give the order. Here I am. Uh, no. Yes. Uh. I'm still here. Adventures call them. Yes. yes. There we go. Let's head out. Is there anything else here? Is this just this little area? Oh no! Someone tried to come before. It's mine. It's mine now. Honey. All right. So. Yeah, so Tusker just dealt with. Ah, uh, I thought that would have been a bit of a bigger area to explore, but all right. The path is clear. Is there anything on this side to loot? I assume not. I assume they would have had just the loot directly behind. Very ducky. Um. So yeah, we've done everything we've got and everything. And what's our inventory like? Um. Do I want to try the Technic League? I kind of do, because I kind of want to help Amory kill another mighty monster. Great. Now, we've done this one, so we have to head take the head back to Oleg. Um, she demands we find another monster and let her prove herself in battle once again. I wonder if that's because we stepped in. Um, that's possible. Yeah, do I want to head there now? Like, we do want to go to Oleg's trading post to hand in this quest. So I could do that, but then I've got to go all the way back. Whereas, if I instead head towards the League, I can deal with them. Old Sycamore... I've never been to this location. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have no idea what's there. Um, that might be... We have to go to the Temple of... It might be go to the Temple of Elk, and then we go there, maybe. Oh, I can't actually get to the League here. Okay. That way. Resting would be nice. Yeah, I was thinking Don't we'd you? rest. It gives everyone a bit of chance to heal. I turned to Grotus when I lost everything. You lost everything too, Lindsay. Why do you keep clinging to your old life? Why do you ask? Have my hands withered? Did my eyes fall out? Maybe I forgot all the letters or got a cursed inkwell that evaporates whenever I reach for it. As long as none of that happens, I'll keep writing, just like always. Why do you think I've lost anything at all? Yeah, we're not getting as much hunting. That might be because we're not... Yeah. Yeah, because we're only spending a small amount of time. Right. Onwards. So we're now coming across to the, the League. Let's try it. Let's try this. 
Um, and then we can head back to the cat to the trades. And then we'll be ready for the temple. Okay. Tread lightly. Yes, that would be my suggestion as well. Spider. Go on, you, you, you take that one on, on your own. Ow! Splat. I think, I think Amory's a little angry that we, we helped with Tusk Gutter. Oh, I need to, oh, that's the next quest. I don't think there's anything else there. We'll just steal their chocolate. Wait, what is this? An escape? And Tyus will fight with you. Okay. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that really. Didn't really want to do that now, but alright. Let us strike as one. Bring it. Your life ebbs low. Yeah, I think Amory's really upset that we helped. Oh no. Oh, this is going to go badly again. Uh, right. Little doggo. Regengar. Octavia, okay. Okay, right, you're going to have to switch, I think, to your short sword. Oh, now everyone's running away in fear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, take out... All these mages. Okay, all these mages. Deal with the mages. Lindsay? Lindsay? Where are you? Lindsay? Oh, you're there. Oh, flip. Run, Lindsay. I did say run, not walk very slowly away. Is that Kalana? Is that <laughs> whatever her name was? Is she gone? Kalana's dead. Kalana's dead. Oh, that. Oh, great. That opens up so much now that all her creatures are dead. I think we're all right. I was worried that this would have gone a lot worse. Kalana drops her weapon. I thought she was dead. Raises her hands, which are covered in blood. Mercy, don't kill me. The half orc bears his fangs. That is how you talk now, wretch. I've wanted to do this for so long. He casts a spell on his outraged palm, and sparks begin dancing upon it. The half-elf puts her hand on his shoulder. Regengar, come now, let her go. It's one thing to kill her in battle, but executing her unarmed? Why spoil the joy of being free? Octavia, are you out of your mind? This filth is from the Technic League. By her own hand, she enchained us. And you want to forgive her? Do you think that she will thank you? Ha! She'll just gather another band and try to catch us again. Um. No, I don't really... Right, so before deciding on fate, I want to ask some questions. I will tell you everything. I know much. You will see. I am more used to you alive than dead. Tell me about the Technic League. It is an ancient alliance of wizards and scholars of the Numerian Wastelands and its... I just like, like, could, couldn't you have just had a little scene where we all kind of like walk over to her? Cause she wasn't the last one who died, so everyone's miles away. With a mighty organization, the world and the whole of Numeria, we possess powers that the initiated can only dream of, and our ancients are everywhere, not just in Numeria. Believe me, these are not people you want as enemies. Only cowards with no honor reckon sheer power is good reason for an alliance. Is it normal for the Technic League to grab random people from the road to enslave? The Technic League is so strong because it is never ashamed of taking what it needs. Whatever the laws may say, we were missing a slave. We underestimated you. That was a mistake, of course. I apologize. Then what are you doing here, if you're Numerian? I was sent by Maestro Janusz. He's a very important person and a mighty wizard. 
who taught the, these two ungrateful slaves everything they know, he'll be furious to find out they are free, and will certainly find the one who stole the Technic League's property. Believe me, he does not need me for that. Whether you kill me or not, he'll find you in no time. You say this Magistro guy of yours will find us anyway? And I guess we don't get out of anything out of sparing you. You'd best not anger the Maestro. If you kill me, he'll be furious. Oh, I'm scared. Like, did you not see Amory, like, walking through people? Like, she's alright. I don't think she's worried. I actually like getting slavers and everyone else angry with me. Then I just cut them to pieces. Then why, well, why did you have these two in, in chains if they had been, if they'd been trained? Because we own them. The Technic League spent vast sums of money on these two. We nurtured them, fed them, treated them, even taught them magic for many years. They cost us a fortune and we're not going to set, just set them free, whatever your local customs say. We are fully in our rights. No, you're not. Um, even, at your, even at the most basic, if this, is a, if this is a lawful, if this is a land of law, then you have to abide by their laws. If this is a lawless land, well, we have the biggest sticks. No more questions. Listen to me. Do not make any hasty decisions. I'm an important person in the Technic League. I have connections. You'll benefit from such an ally. You see now what a slime ball she is? Step aside. Let me fry her. No, we should we should spare her. Because it's the right thing to do. Like not the alliance here. It's a right it's a right thing to punish your, tor your tormentor. No, I'll spare her life. Go back to Numeria. Rengar strikes Kalinar across the face. Get out of my sight, you filth. Thank the gods that my friends are so soft. Hey, we've only just met, and he's saying we're friends. Ah. Right. Uh. Oh, right. Wanted to slip. Oh, uh oh. Shouldn't have spared a life. On second thought, what difference does it make? Either way, she'll rot in the abyss. Okay. Haha, -ha, we're free. I can't believe it. Free as the birds in the sky. Phew. Ha 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 ha. Very realistic laugh from me, I know. Regengar holds Octavia tight and she laughs lightly and kisses him on the lips. Thank you, you've no idea how long we've tried to escape the Technic League. This is a miracle. Um, okay. I haven't time for games with you. Die. Who are you? I'm Regengar, this is Octavia. The rotten Numerians uh, held us as slaves, but we are no mere scavengers. You see the crowd there that had guarding us? It's because we use magic. And I'm not bad with a blade if it comes to that. Ooh, same here. But, uh, they're all right, we could use them on our team. What is the Technic League? A huge man-eating spider catching all of Numeria in its webs. They're a secret society of arcane spellcasters who study ancient technology. They have eyes and ears throughout this land and abroad. It is said they even have Keveth Kul in their pocket, the very sovereign of Numer Numeria. They also control all the slave trade in the country. I've seen many a young treasure hunter's adventures end at the slave market. Ugh. May the Technic League rot in Abaddon. There is nothing worse than a nature, na nation in which a secret criminal organization has consolidated power. That's called a government. <laughs> um, even an openly cruel tyrant is better than the inf infection that festers in Numeria. 